Hey there guys, Nerf Stranger X here and welcome to another video you can read it in the title. Today we're gonna watch episode 3 of season 8. Jesus Christ, it's going! So the premiere was fucking amazing. Um, honestly, I do not expect this reaction to be perfectly fine since the premiere got blocked 10 minutes after uploading. We will see how that works because I'm just gonna say this now for if this video gets, if, if, if it doesn't get blocked, um, if this season turns out to be a season where every single reaction gets blocked and I have to fight for it to get uh, uploaded again, I will not, I will, I repeat, I will not do um, redirect videos for the whole season. I'm not doing that because it's just too much work to recut and re-render these things or upload it to other platforms that could block it as well. I mean Google Drive now has such uh, big copyright claims now as well so Google Drive blocks reactions just like YouTube does and it's just it sucks and I'm not in the mood for doing that. I would rather do live streams instead or stuff like that. So just so you are prepared for if that case is happening, I will fight for every reaction to become unblocked on YouTube, but that would mean that all of the uh, reactions would um, take their time to get uploaded, which means I lose a lot of views and therefore new potential subscribers, which sucks. Uh, I mean, if you compare my, re I don't know, I, I could blend it in here, my, re my view counts for the last two season premieres, it's been over 10,000 for each, and here we had 2,000, which is, I think, terribly sad because it's so much wasted potential for this YouTube channel to grow. And I really, ex I really hope you can reach the 5,000 mark with this season. So I'm really hoping still for that. Whatever. For now, just just in case uh, you hear any noises in this video, I, I hide my girlfriend behind me. Hi guys. I'm not stranger. Ex girlfriend. My, my ex girlfriend. No, your name is no stranger ex. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry guys! My fault! Glad you could finally learn who my girlfriend is. <laughs> Whatever! Welcome to this video. I hope you're in a good mood. I am I'm ready and prepared for the next episode of Season 8. I do not know the title. I'm not spoiled. I do not know anything. Um, I guess we're just gonna run and jump into this. Let's see what this episode is about and what it's gonna bring for us. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. So uh, don't mind the weird girlish person sitting behind me. <laughs> You're so funny. Ah! Jesus, stop the cringe. Why is my channel so cringy? Why does it get so cringy every time I have guests? Ask yourself. Robin is the worst. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, by the way, check it out. The link in the description for my Discord server. Join Nerfy Army hashtag. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's start this reaction in three, two, one, and. Please put your homes together for your next okay. performer, Mod Pie. <gasps> Mod Pie's comedy act. Jesus. What do you call an alicorn with no wings and no horn? An earth, earth pony. pony. <laughs> okay. But seriously, being an earth pony isn't so bad. We've got magic powers too, like walking around and picking stuff up with our teeth. <laughs> That's sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> Uh huh. My favorite thing to listen to is classic rock. The accumulation of sediments over millennia forming to create sandstone, shale, and breccia. It sounds something like this. And that's my time.
Is this just acting? It sounds like acting. Um, someone told me that we get a new intro with this episode. And we do! Oh, shit! There were big orgies, way too much! Big Mac and Sweetie Belle. And no, not Sweetie Belle. There was Discord. <laughs> Nice! Oh, it's about fucking time! Oh, it was... Oh, oh. It took eight seasons. Eight! Your jokes, your hilarious delivery, your... Thank you! Your everything! How was my... Timing? Ha! <laughs> you got me! Come on, let's celebrate sister style! We can get matching stickers that say eyes on the pies! Then show them off at the Ponyville <laughs> sticker convention that I can plan for Jamera is on the road again. Actually, I'm busy tonight. What happened? yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before the day before that. It's just, we haven't hung out in a really long time because you always have other plans. Even when you promise to build whipped cream pyramids with me. So this is a Pinkie Pie episode? I am sorry, Pinky. The reason is I have a- Apology accepted! As long as we get some serious sister time before your birthday. And there's a definitely no reason I want to hang out before your birthday. Just, uh, you know, not planning anything special. Okay. What about tomorrow morning? Okay. <laughs> Just you and me. Best sister friends forever! Best sister friends forever. I can't wait for Nice! <laughs> I love her home, it's so Ready cool. For some fun times at Sugar Cube Corner! The answer is you! I would also accept Maud. Nah. Maud? Maud! Maud! This cave, so much potential oh, for oh, I secret. Get it. We're playing hide and go seek! <laughs> uh, there she is using her chaotic magic again. That she apparently doesn't even have, but but she kind of does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause the I'm not thinking too much about physics when there is a Pinkie Pie episode. I'm stopping. <laughs> there was on one glued to Derpy. <laughs> Is this Starlight's room? Or does she have a house now? Aww. Uh -huh. There's a mirror. Wait, Wait the picture of Discord and, and Celestia is gone. <laughs> the picture sure <laughs> with no the equality sign. In your closet! Pinky, I don't have a closet. Is everything okay? <laughs> no. The picture You're of Tracy in the background. To go shopping with Maud today. And ruin her surprise party? I wasn't going to tell her why, silly. But now I can't even find Maud. I'm usually way better at hide and seek than this. Well, she probably just found a new rock formation and forgot you two were going to hang out. Tell you what, you take care of the cake, and I'll look for Maud. Really? Thanks, Starlight! Just checking. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get very important ingredients for a very important pony's cake, and it's gotta be tippy-top, super-duper secret. Technically, it's not your turn yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean okay, to he has a new model. Pony. I am currently speaking to a pony at a baking supply shop two minutes before it closes for lunch. Right. Okay. Just that I'm trying to plan a party here and the clock is ticking while you, um... Uh, what are you doing anyway? I am currently speaking to a... I mean, can I help no. you with this one? What are you looking for? Rolling pins, cupcake chips, cookie cutter? 
that is entitled to this? Goodbye. That's what you've been standing here all this time to say? I was deciding between goodbye and see you later. Uh, but they're the same thing? Yeah, he's just sticking them up. they're very different. Look at his cutie mark. See you later <laughs> implies an event in the near future wherein we see each other. Goodbye expresses good wishes where parting or at the end of a conversation. Yeah, same thing. I will not apologize for speaking with precision. In that case, apology not accepted. Goodbye, later, see you, same thing. Oh, can you believe that guy? Huh? Oh, she's a meanie, hasn't she? Ugh, no mod, no cake, no anything. That was a situation. No, Purposefully put in there to frustrate the viewer, which you don't really understand. No, it's not me doing it! Oh, there she is. Hello, Pinkie Pie. Mom! Thank you! My turn to hide! I'm sorry I wasn't around this morning. Oops! What are you apologizing to me for? I'm not upset, you silly willy! The reason is, I met some pony... You wanna hang out right now? I mean, I can see you're not doing anything with any pony else. Unless they're invisible or... What? Pinky, the reason I've been so busy is that I have a boyfriend now. A what? A boyfriend. A what? Isn't it a cold, fr cold a friend? friend? A what? A boyfriend. That's so exciting! My sister is... What? Technically, we're in like... Tell me everything! Who is he? What's his favorite color? We're in like, like instead of we're in love. love. <laughs> She has a boyfriend, not a cold friend or a special some pony. I, I'm confused. You'll like him. We have a lot in common. Is it the stick in the mouth guy? So I know I'm gonna love your boyfriend. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. You don't have to. <gasps> He's a rock, and you love rocks, so it's perfect. <gasps> Is Boulder jealous? No, behind the rock. Mudbriar, are you back there? Technically, not anymore. Huh. <gasps> wow, they're really going with this relationship stuff. Mudbriar. This started last season. We've already met. You? Technically? Yes. You? <laughs> yes. You? Yes. <laughs> You. Such good voice acting! How can he be so- Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's start over. Hi, nice. I'm my sister, <laughs> I know. So... How did you what? two I love meet? That I love him so. too. Oh, <laughs> she looks so rock. short beside no. him. I like sticks. Then why were you at a rock show? It was a petrified wood show, which technically makes it a stick show. Except that in the permineralization process She's of mine. petrification, all organic material is replaced with silicates, i.e. rocks. While retaining the original structural elements of wood. They are really <laughs> serious. It was a stick show. She never smiles. I never ever. I'm really into sticks too. They're great for hitting pictures. Only she did ah! once or twice. Thank you. You want to go first? That is stick abuse. It is? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this is awful. Stick I'm abuse. I'm not a very good sister. Let's start over. I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've already met. You should introduce Pinkie to your pet. Oh, your pet likes fetch. This is my pet, so no. Aw, look at Twiggy and Boulder playing together. <laughs> They're adorable. Oh! It's just a stick! Don't be rude. She's smiling so I'm much, sorry, I'm not I'm used to it. One more time. I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've, we've already, already met. met. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so good! Mod has a boyfriend? Uh, Why isn't it called cold friend anymore? 
Was it ever called cold yes, cold spring? Yes, it's an animate object for a I'm not sure. It is in fan so fiction. Boulder has ten times the personality of some random stick. Mudbrayer too, for that matter. Oh, it's that's racist. Like <laughs> How can you be Larry against really sticks and four rocks? Yep, that's mod. Stick but abuse. But this guy is awkward, quiet, and kind of strange. Uh, that also sounds like mod. <laughs> You're so funny, Starlight. Mod is nothing like Mudbrier. If she were, then we wouldn't be best sister friends forever. Well, Mod obviously likes something about him. <laughs> Maybe you just need to spend more time with him. Find out what you or have in common. Or just accept it. That's easy. Why am I so blue? It's not even you blue in here. You don't care about Mod. You go here. I know. He could help you with her party. I guess. <laughs> and I'll keep Mod busy while you and Mudbriar plan the best surprise birthday not ever. Not better, but... That I can do. That's so Listen, cool. Mod's birthday is tomorrow, and there's no time to waste. You're not afraid of slides, are you? No. What? <laughs> nice. Technically, due to the speleothems growing from the ceiling, this is more of a cavern than a cave. Maud taught me that. Aww. Here's what I'm thinking for her surprise party. Edible rock candy plates, gem-shaped ice cube, a pebble pinata. Uh, let's skip that one. Might I make some suggestions? Oh, suggest. That is awesome. I, I like the idea. I have a vision board of everything Maud loves, and none of those things are on it. Hmm. Let me see this vision board. It's not a physical thing. I'm envisioning it. <laughs> well, I enter through the large door of my mind palace and enter to the pack where I have all of my books and possessions, and what do I encounter? The mod room. None of those things are there. This Just is so as awesome. I thought, Maud doesn't like surprises. Where does it say that? She never told me that! Mm, it sounds like she was protecting your feelings. She's very caring that way. Stop acting like you know my sister better than me! Technically, I never said that. He didn't? Well, He's right about it. I You don't believe me? Let's ask her. I'm sure my girlfriend so knows. Thinking. This Can girlfriend, of course, more <laughs> knows no. more about me than my sister does in many, many. Huh. You, must be you know what I mean? I'm oh, Starlight they're Glimmer. still doing the um, heard kite thing. I'm so glad the two of you are spending time together. So. I'm sorry, I have something here. It hurts. That's fine. Mudbriar and I have just spent the best time bonding, and we're really starting to make some headway, becoming besties, except for one teensy weensy disagreement that maybe you could settle, Mod. See, Mudbriar here seems to think that you don't like surprise parties. Isn't it funny how wrong he is? I like surprise parties. Hmm. Because I know they make you happy when you throw them for me. Aww. See? Wait, what? I'd rather just do something small with you, Starlight, Boulder, and Mudbriar for my birthday. Aww. No party? Did he put you up to this? How important Starlight already mm -hmm. became for her. Maybe you should consider, I don't know, taking things a little less serious with Mudbriar because he's kind of, sort of, impossible to like! Hey, That's Mudbriar. really mean, actually. I've never flown a kite. <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. See, the first thing you should do is... I just can't believe you would choose sitting around with him over a party with your own sister. I didn't choose either of you. Technically, I said I wanted to be with both of you. <gasps> Technically? Oh, you even like the way he talks? Well... Everything about him makes me happy. No. <gasps> Pinky. 
Oh, wait, let's all slow down and talk about this. No! <laughs> I mean, see you later. The funny thing is, this is a problem. I, I'm sure Why most of you have had Brian? somehow experience with is in personal life. It was Don't you or friends sense. of yours. I'm not shy. <laughs> I hate animals. Fashion. Not I love these darling. faces. <laughs> An apple a day is downright disgusting. <laughs> And Twilight doesn't like books? Daddy wins the race. I never learned to read. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, but it's cool that they approach this kind of topic, relationships and family and friends and all that stuff in a show like this because we hadn't had that before. I like that. Good morning! Oh, wait, bad morning. Oh. <laughs> Get out of bed, sis. If nice. You're gonna be here, you gotta work. Limestone. Oh. I haven't seen her in a while. I like Limestone. I really like her voice, I think. Back to the family farm Marble. The the night. Uh -huh. Well, it all started when. Less talking, more farming. Uh -huh. It's just more well, have a Marble. boyfriend. I'm not jealous. Who said anything about jealous? Don't be. Duper weird! <laughs> and somehow we tricked Maude into liking him, and now I'll never get to see her again! I came home because you two know her better than any pony. What am I missing? What did she see in him? What does he have that I don't? Knock <laughs> up, Pinkie Pie. You look as miserable as I feel all the time. <laughs> it's just that uh. I love Maude and I want to love Mudbriar, but. I can't see anything to like about him. I know a friend Ugh, that fine. I've thought this way about break. for Come a long on. time. Hmm? Not you, I'm but... I'm looking at a sparkling well, bright blue light bulb. See it? You mean that lumpy gray one? No, the beautiful blue and white one. Right there. I would not describe that as beautiful blue or white, but... <laughs> okay. Show her. It's a geode. The outside looks like a regular rock, but the inside is filled with beautiful gems. So you're saying I should crack open my briar like a rock? It all makes sense! No, wait, it doesn't. Yes, it's a thank metaphor, you. Pinky. You see Mudbriar as a rock, but Maud sees him as a gem. Even if you never Aww. see past his dullness, that's you can see how happy he is. comparison. Mom. And to his sister, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, limestone marble! Thank you. I don't know what I did. Marble, you did so much. <laughs> okay, okay, you're crushing me to gravel, Pinky. I really owe Mudbriar. I love all these <gasps> rock. I owe Maud a party. Word place. I just hope I'm not too late. I brought you an olive branch to say sorry. I was really unfair to you, and I'm ready to listen to your ideas for Maud's birthday. If you still want to plan it together. Technically, this isn't even an olive branch. It's a quercus, most likely castinia folia. Oh, come on! <laughs> sorry, keeping it together. And I love a good quercus. Friends, now, do you have any ideas for the party? I love a good card, yes. There is one. How, how, how is that with small? But there's rocks everywhere. Surprise! <laughs> So now Starlight planned the party. This is my favorite party ever. It was all your She's smiling so idea. much in this episode. It would be me throwing you a surprise party you didn't have to go to. Technically, 
It wasn't a surprise because she could see the pre-party preparations from up here. Technically, you're, you're right. <laughs> All right, I have a lot to say about this. Who's voicing this new character? Adam Krishner doesn't really ring any bells with me, but there we had our newest episode. I have totally forgot the name of the episode actually, now that I think about it. I didn't pay attention to what it was called. Um, yeah, give me a minute. Alright guys, there I am. The episode title actually makes a lot of sense. So I'm actually very glad that I didn't know, didn't know of the title beforehand uh, because the title is The Maud Couple, as you can read in the title. But I actually didn't know and it made it a lot more surprising than I would have thought if I knew the title. Um, holy Jesus, so Maud has a boyfriend, cold friend, special some pony now. I'm not quite sure which is the proper term to use now, I'm very confused about that. Why am I still so blue? The screen in front of me is white and I'm freaking blue. Um, and now I'm blue, even more blue. Let's not be blue, please. <laughs> I, think that, <laughs> I think this is the best I can do. Um, yeah, this was a pretty good episode, I think. I think there's a little bit um, of a frustrating factor for me. First off, uh, Pinky's not my favorite character and sometimes I think she's very annoying, but in this episode it was fine, I guess. Um, I just... Um, yeah, I think I've, I've had so much to do in private life with problems of these sorts where friends of mine got girlfriends or, or boyfriends and somehow the relationship between um, the friends changed or family and stuff because someone couldn't accept the new relationship partner or the partner couldn't accept the circle of friends um, they had and stuff like that. So I have a lot of experience with that, but I think it's fantastic that they actually um, knowledge that kind of topic in a TV show like My Little Pony because of course friendship lessons are kind of used a lot over seven seasons you know and there's still more to come with this new school of friendship so of course it's totally logical that they try to um, approach other kind of problems to deal with in this case love problems that still somehow kind of involve friendship stuff and so and I think that's amazing, and to actually use Mod Pie for that, I would have never thought of that, honestly. And I definitely, definitely think that the new guy—I already forgot his name again. Why? Why are? I don't know. But he's very cool. I really like him. He's very funny. He's basically the male version of Mod, just with sticks and a lot more cheerful than Maud was at the beginning because if you think back to the first few episodes Maud appeared where she actually where she just never ever smiled and then this huge emotional thing between Maud and Pinky happens and that's the point where she actually manages a smile because she's dad happy and with her new boyfriend here she actually manages she he actually manages to make her so happy that she's smiling more often and I think that's amazing for one and just fucking adorable for the other and I'm really enjoying this and I actually uh, really hope that they continue with it and I said actually a lot of times let's put up a counter no that's too much work for editing um, so yeah I like this episode and uh, I definitely want to see more of this Roman stuff uh, because it yeah, it just fits in now that they started with Big Mac and um, Sugar Bell, not Sweetie Bell, I'm stupid. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so very cool. Also, they've, they, they've done it. They finally added a new intro or animated a new intro. Um, so many people um, kind of wrote to me in the comments about how I'm too too aggressive about the whole topic uh, because they definitely changed the intro over the years. Guys, the intro is to 90% the same 
now as it was at the beginning of this series. There are these small things that changed don't make an intro completely new. It's just a new small addition, like a graphical update or something. It's, it's not that special. I like the few changes, but I've hoped for a really good new intro. And they, keep, they kept the song, which is fine, but they totally animated it completely new and added all the things that are important for the series now, like uh, um, Rarity's new boutiques and her work with Sassy Saddles and Coco Pomel, Rainbow Dash is a Wonderbolt, the School of Friendship is in there now, and, and Fluttershy's care taking center, central, whatever, city thing for the animals and stuff like that. And that all that auditions, I mean, I have, I'm, I'm gonna watch the intro several more times. So probably for the next five reactions, I'm gonna notice um, different things about the intro afterwards because I'm not gonna watch the intro several times now. I'm just gonna keep waiting for the next reactions to come. So you, each new reaction I get, you're gonna see out of me. Um, but yeah, for this episode, the mod couple, I really liked it. It's a really good episode and I love, I just love how the show is changing and how it's evolving basically. And um, yeah, this was really enjoyable to watch. It's definitely a good episode. I liked it. Season eight is coming off fantastic so far. The premiere was outstandingly good. I loved it. Um, this episode was really nice as well. Uh, so I have nothing to uh, complain about yet. <laughs> There's always one episode that someone complains about, so we're, we're just gonna wait for that. But we're gonna be a bit more cheerful than last season's, you know, whatever. Um, definitely uh, nothing more to say. Girlfriend! Bye guys! Was a pleasuring episode! <laughs> okay guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching check out the links in the descriptions there are a lot of them if you want to support me there's paypal and patreon but that's not so important definitely check out the link to the discord server i opened where you can chat with me on a more personal basis as well as sharing your content and just um, it's a small family, it kind of grew and I really enjoy it being on the server. Um, it's not that active as some other servers are maybe, but I think the activity that we have just feels a little bit more familiar and I really like it and definitely join the Nerfy Army server. Uh, I would love you to join um, and I hope you feel welcome there as well, link in the description. Uh, if you want to see more of me, of my personal life or of me streaming, then follow my Instagram, Twitter and um, Twitch, links in the description. And the last thing I can recommend is I did a music video, it's German though, so you probably won't understand anything, but if you want to support me and just check that video out and leave a comment or a like, I would really ap pre appreciate it. And um, yeah, this whole new music business is new for me and I really like doing it and support means a lot. <laughs> okay guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed and um, that's it. I'll see you in the next video episode for next week on Saturday, some Sunday, whatever. Um, I'll see you. Here comes the Brove. Bye, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>